fight coming up next at the UFC Heavyweight Showdown. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Two years apart, these two fighters, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. Now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 200 pounds. Fighting out of Spartanburg, South Carolina, Mountain. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is my who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Oh, big knee! And a nice job at least staying upright on that. What a fun. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Left hand punch in the clinch. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head, landing punch after punch, 
You have got to clear that collar, Ty. Reach back inside and try to find space. Lands to the body there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Look at how he turns his hips into that leg kick. Lee's kick blocked. Huge knee land. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is gonna start to drive knees over and over. You gotta be careful here, you gotta move. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And he landed the right hand there. Nice right punch followed by a left. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, nice knee. big knee. Beautiful knee. Oh, good series of knees by him there, working the head, working the body. He is going all over the place tonight. He is using that knee to really dictate where the fight takes place. I mean, that right hand landed square. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good tonight. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. He's back in his position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. Huge block there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Straight there, I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And they separate. Look at that whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. See if he can finish. Wow, what a catch. Oh, big elbow. Big ball to us, man. Now he gets back in range. Head kick attempt, it's blocked. Oh, single collar tie here. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Nice job. See on that punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Oh, that's a good strike there by Lee. Oh, round two that's coming up next. Up. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Take a deep breath and relax. Let's clear the cobwebs. You got rocked that last round, but you're fine. You ready to fight? Ready. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Great punch lands with so much power. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. Unable to land with that punch. 
combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop. Because twice in size, this guy today is looking at focus mitts in his opponents. Real quick leg kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Try to establish that jab. Single collar tie now. He has a commitment to kick it tonight and it shows. Big leg kick land. Nice head kick. Oh, that's a nice strike. Single collar tie there. Powerful leg kick lands. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. And there's a takedown attempt. Oh, good knees here, DC. If you're on the wrong end of those knees, what are you what are you doing to adjust? I mean, you gotta be getting out of those positions where he's kneeing you. You gotta be keeping Hands a little bit low to protect. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. He didn't like that. Oh. Big diving punch lands. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Yeah, he's in half guard here. Lee getting touched here repeatedly with these ground and pound strikes from the top. Referee's not going to bail you out. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Close guard. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on them. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Back to the feet now. I mean, it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that uppercut. Left hand punch to the clinch. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Oh, look at that head. Unbelievable. Oh, he goes with the punch and he lands. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. And he's back up. Just miss with the leg kick. Way to hide that leg kick. Straight punch lands. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach. Whoa! So there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. 
We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Big kick. All right, so he's landed a few seminal uppercuts already, DC. You gotta think he goes back to it. I am almost certain he's gonna go and try to find another one of those. But expect him to really set down and try to make one really count and try to end this fight. Good stick. at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Ooh, what a punch. Nice wide. Oh, nice knee. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Oh, collar tie. Boom. And he continues to work the body here. Big head kick land. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Four shots landing on both sides here. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Wow! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Left hand punch to the clinch. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And they separate. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow oh, right now. Great defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Lee's head kick looked like that one was blocked. Oh, he got that knee up to the head. So he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water, going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big punch land. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style. Blocked. He gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Lee. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Well, he's got some of the best chokes in the game. He's going for one now. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, look at this. Jumps over in the side mount to try to counter the guillotine. Maybe going with that Von Flute choke, or I guess we should probably call it the OSP at this point. Focus of this.
this young fighter. You could tell he was looking for that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it. He stayed patient, let the setup do its thing, and ultimately the submission materializes organically late in the round. High-level stuff out of that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at four minutes, 22 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by tap out, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission. And they put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward they needed to not just win, but get the finish, and they certainly got it tonight. They got the finish. He's such a terrific grappler. Every time he is on his back,